It's a strange thing to think that we need an organisation like Nature Play to encourage kids mucking around outside. When we think back to our own childhoods, we know that that was just what childhood was about. And we know also that those were the times when we were doing that stuff that the big leaps in our lives happened. It was when we were active, when we were fit, when we had discoveries. And if you think back to the best moments of your life, I challenge you to ask yourself how many of those happened on the couch inside. Well, children over the last 20, 30, 40 years have changed. There's no two ways about it. You know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, children were outside jumping around. They were using their bodies. They, they were learning all of those skills. The health effects, the health consequences of, uh, of this modern problem um, go beyond the obvious, go beyond lack of physical exercise, the development of obesity and overweight in children. Uh, they go to a number of other problems that children suffer from as a consequence of the type of lives they currently lead. Uh, their lack of resilience, their lack of perseverance, their attentional problems, uh, their difficulties with developing social relationships and forming friendships, their sense of victimhood, their fragile sense of self-worth. Principals and teachers have read the research. The research is very clear. You have to develop the whole child. So simply teaching literacy and numeracy and science and geography and history is one thing. But unless you teach the whole child, and that's gross and fine motor skills, you, you're going to have some problems. And unfortunately, we have some problems in the 21st century. A modern Australian kid gets less than two hours a day outside, and that's less than our maximum security prisons. The fact is that kids are not getting it on their own, that time to explore and to develop. Um, so we need an organisation that can find ways to, to make that an easier thing for parents and give resources to schools, to give resources to parents to allow that to happen. About four months ago, I stumbled across the Nature Play um, website when I was looking for something to do that would bring my children closer to nature, but would also involve me and my husband. Um, so I started looking at the internet and I saw or the website and then I found that um, you could actually start your own nature club group. I think it's really important for children to play outside. It promotes um, their learning skills, it helps their social skills and, and I think that um, their emotional skills as well. It, it lessens their stress levels, it lessens mine <laughs> when we're outside. We do it every weekend so my children, um, they look forward to those weekends. It's getting the children immersed in nature and that passion and love of being outside. They learn to take a few risks. They learn that yes, you might get prickles, but it's not the end of the world. Um, you can easily solve it. They climb trees, which some of these children have never done. One of the examples I saw that was, to me was really powerful in the way we use language to teach children how to judge properly was to see this little three-year-old climbing a tree. Um, and the, it was quite high, it was over, it was close to two metres off the ground. And the educational assistant with her didn't make the normal, be careful, this is dangerous. She made the call, are you looking after your body? And I think that to me is a really powerful message that we need to teach these children to look after themselves. What has happened to a lot of children is that they have been cocooned uh, they haven't been able to make mistakes. What they need to do is get out into the playground, get out after school, get out on the weekends and actually make little mistakes. If we can teach them through simple things now at the age of four or five when the risks are really little or the repercussions of making mistakes are very small as opposed to the repercussions of making mistakes when you are 16, 17, 18. To me it's almost like it's not a question we should be asking. We should be preparing these children now. It's a very complex picture that's led us to the situation we're in where kids aren't spending time outdoors. One of those, uh, one of the parts of that puzzle is in a growing um, risk aversion. And that's all the way from schools and local governments right into the house. And we are trying to, in an effort to keep our children safe, we are tending to think about that as an exercise in removing all risks. Um, Unfortunately, the reality is that kids and we all grow up in a complex world and at some point we need to develop the skills and the competency to be safe. Uh, and part of, and a hugely important part of keeping our children safe is allowing them the 
graduated sensible opportunities to experience, recognise and negotiate risk. Nature Play has been a revelation for uh, school leaders and for teachers. We have been asking for a long, long time, where can we go to actually get some information and get some ideas? By having a dedicated organisation, Nature Play WA, we've been able to spend the time to actually come up with some, some ways for that to happen. And one of the key ones early on has been our passport program. It's simply a way of delivering activity ideas to kids, to families and to schools and teachers. In just under two years, we've had 115,000 kids um, take part in that program. To put that in context, there's 246,000 kids in primary school in WA, so we've had about a 40% take up over that time. We have to move on from defining the problem, and I think we're all aware that there are problems that come with kids spending an inordinate amount of time indoors and sedentary. But finding solutions, finding ways for it to actually become a normal part of childhood again is the challenge. Being outside and doing that, yes, you might fall from a tree and you might hurt yourself, but generally you learn, well, next time I'll choose a bigger, bigger branch or have a better hold on it. 